Greetings, young scientists. This is Mr. Alvarolt again with the Winston-Salem for Scythe County Schools Science Department. Today, I'm bringing you a video talking about heat transfer. And today, we're going to be talking about conduction. First thing we're going to do is we're going to be taking some temperatures. We're going to be using an infrared laser thermometer. I love this thing. We're going to take temperatures of a couple of items. We're going to record those temperatures, and we're going to see if we can't figure out how heat is transferring. So with conduction, we're looking at a couple of different things. Conduction is, has to do with the solid. It has to have a solid item involved. We're also looking at having a heat source. All heat transfer is going from one object to another. It is transferring. I'm taking something someplace else. We have to have a, a source, a heat source, and I have to have a destination. Where is that heat going to? So today we're going to be looking at conduction. We're going to be just taking a couple temperatures. The first one is we're going to take a temperature of the kitchen table. So our kitchen table is at 72.5 degrees. So I'm going to record that on my data sheet, 72.5 degrees F, 72 and 5 tenths. Next, I'm going to record the temperature of my hand. The temperature of my hand is 91.1 degrees, 90.1 degree. 90.1 degree F, 90 and one tenth degree Fahrenheit. Now what I'm going to do, we're going to take and put some, my hand on the table. Go ahead and put your hand on your table too. What is it you feel? That's one good observation. Thank you. Somebody else, tell me what you feel. Very good. I'll tell you what I feel. I feel cold because my table is cool. That's what I feel. Does that mean that coldness from the table is traveling to my hand? Next thing we're going to use is we're going to use this. This is called liquid crystal paper. I'm going to take this liquid crystal paper and I'm going to set it on the table where my hand has been. We're going to see what happens. This is going to help us to visualize and see what has happened with our hand and the temperature and the heat transfer. So what we're observing now is that where our hand was located, this is showing us where the temperature is. The temperature where my hand is located now says that it is 78.3 degrees Fahrenheit. 78.3 degrees F Fahrenheit. What that is telling us is not that the coldness from the table is transferring because somehow the temperature of my table increased in temperature. So because of that, we know that the heat transfer from the source what was our heat source in this, in this exercise? If you said it was our hand, you're right. Our, our hand is the heat source in this, in this lesson. And then we transferred heat from our hand. My hand was at 90 degrees. And my hand went from 90 degrees and placed it on the table. Heat from my hand went from my hand by conduction because we're touching through the con conduction there. And I touched that and it increased the temperature of that location on the table. Next to, this, next to that spot on the table is still sitting at 70.8 degrees. So it is still a cold spot, but the heat from my hand going to the, the, the table is being visually shown with the liquid crystal paper, but also with the temperature. We're also being able to take that temperature and get a quantitative reading of what it is that our, is our heat transfer. So as we look at this, we know that heat transfer this is a heat transfer unit, not a cold transfer unit. We got to remember that. Heat is transferring from a place of warmer temperature to a spot of colder temperature. It goes from hot to cold. My hand was the heat going to the cold, which was the table. So we're transferring. Two things are touching. Both are solids. That's going to be conduction. A teacher that I used to work with, she used to say conduction is a touching. And that was a way that helped kids to really remember that when two things are touching like that, that is conduction. So keep that in mind as you are learning about heat transfer and what conduction is, as well as we get into the example as to what convection is and radiation a little bit later. Thank you for all you're doing, learning out there at home. Welcome to my home, and I hope that you're having a good time as well as you're learning something and staying healthy and safe. Take care of yourself.